My name's Matt Berry. I interviewed Kenneth Williams in the tiny vestry of Warwick Cathedral back in 1979, that particular location being our only workable option within such a cavernous-sounding building. He was returning to Warwick to play a concert of organ music and allowed me an interview in between playing his favourite pieces. I only wish Kenneth Williams could have written his own introduction, as he was so legendary with words. So, let's hear a few. Firstly, can I say, Kenneth Williams, what an incredible setting. It's so lovely. It's stunning. I mean, for you, it must be home from home. Oh, yes. Now, you're best known for your carry-on films and your radio comedy. Yes, and my but case of... it's your organ playing that I'm interested in. Oh, how prodigal. And you've been playing the organ since you were seven years old. And yes. you gained a scholarship to Winchester Cathedral, where you played professionally. Yes. Is that right? Until you quit. Yes. To do your national service, joining the Entertainment Corps. Oh, yeah. Where were you posted? I did uh, my war service all over the place, India, Burma, and some of the conditions under which we lived were primitive indeed. Admittedly, we were backed up by army logistics, but every now and again, you were left in some of these right. encampments with the bear. And it says you really had to use some imagination to... Yeah, I'm less interested in your military anecdotes. It's more when you... Well, now, this is... When you first discovered the organ and, and really what your parents' reaction was... Yes. You've hit on something there because I like to be where the roots are. And I think where your roots are, to be reminded all the time of what you are, is a very, very good thing because it stops... Sorry, in... so did your parents ins insist that you have oh, lessons? Oh, well... Was this something that was instilled from quite an early age? Oh, I think the instinct was from my mother, Louisa, yes. I got it from Lou. Because she would come back, and I was shoved on the table, so the scrubbing was going on all round the table, and I wasn't allowed to put my feet in, in the way of new scrubbing, you see. Right. A hangover, too, from the army, because that taught you. Do your own darning of your own socks, sew your own buttons on, and I can do all those things for myself, and I've got the same... Again, I think we're talking too much about the military... And we should get round to you playing yes. your first piece. Now, what is the first piece called? It's a foray, Bacharol. Right. It's the number one in A minor, opus 26. <laughs> was lovely, Kenneth. Don't you think it's enchanting? That's lovely melody, isn't it? It's beautiful. A couple of duff notes, but fantastic effort. What you... Have you always spoken the way you do? No. Because you're from the East End, are you not? Yes, well... It was... you, your father worked in Islington, did he? What did he think of the way you spoke? My father was a great one for saying, don't talk with a plum in your mouth, mate. Don't <laughs> come here and talk with a... Because I say, hello. Don't talk with a plum in your mouth, he used to say. Because <laughs> there is a certain liberty that Southerners are entitled to... Yes. ..when insulting Northerners. I, it's, it's extraordinary. But, you know, like Cockneys in pubs, you get often that quality, too, behind the bar. A bit of chai I can... Well, it's funny that you should mention pubs, because I was having a pint in the Grave Morris... Yes. ..on Bethnal Green Road, you know that one? Yes. ..only a couple of nights ago, and I mentioned to this local that I'd be interviewing you. Oh, yes. And he said... 
Kenneth Williams, ain't he that geezer who talks through his nose? Oh, well. Whatever you do, don't ask him to play the bleeding organ. Which leads us conveniently onto the next piece you're going to play. Now, what is that, Kenneth? Oh, now, this is a favourite. This is Kathleen Ferrier. And what's it called? Now Sleeps the Crimson Petal. Lovely. And Kenneth Williams has stood up for the second time this evening to walk towards the 200-year-old Winchester Cathedral organ, where he'll play Handel's beautiful lullaby, Now Sleeps the Evening Petal. Very nice indeed, Kenneth. A couple of duff notes at the end, but I don't think anybody else would have noticed. I love that. Now, you earn a fortune. Yes. Yet you choose to live above a shop on the Essex Road. Yes. Why? Well, I've visited people who live in very posh places, you know. Right. And, uh, and I think to myself, well, I don't want any of that. That's why I've always had the one-room kitchen and bathroom. And I get rid of it, you know, shove the arpic down the loo, and I do it all myself. What if I were to call you tight? Oh, well. <laughs> oh, excuse me. No, 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 sorry, you misunderstand. I'm not calling you tight. But what if somebody were? What an arrogant little... <coughs> Now, we've reached the point yes. in the interview where I ask you to empty the contents of your pockets I know, I think... onto the table and you describe them. Socks. Requiem masses. Servants. My rocks are pudding. Galton and Simpson. Beads. A blow wave. Golden treasuries. An Indian potentate of... A three legged wooden stool. Galton and Simpson. Roger Quilter. How old are you now, Kenneth? I'm 61. <laughs> Ooh, the Grim Reaper beckons. Is that something that plays on your mind? Oh, yes, I quite look forward to death. Really? Yes. I just hope it's not painful. I don't want to... Get shot or burned to death. I know. Now, we can't not mention Dame Edith Evans, who you had a passionate affair with... Yes. ...after starring in several West End productions together. Yes. But she didn't take to you at all at first, did she? I know. I think... Didn't she objected to you being cast as the lead, as the wood god... Yes. ...in the Marvel film... Is that right? What are you casting Kenneth Williams for the wood god? A god? I thought you were pretty good. Now, I think it's time... I can hear you halfway down the corridor talking to everyone in the company. Why don't they visit me? And why didn't they? It's because Binky Beaumont, who was presenting it, you know, he said to me... I'm worried we're steering too far away from the organ and you've got two more yes. pieces to play. Now, what's, what's the next piece? It's a Beethoven piece. It's the, Well, I, I always call it the Spring Sonata. I tell you why I think it's marvellous. Because it shows the wealth of the man. And what's the piece called, Kenneth? Go, little bird, and tell them I'm lonely. <laughs> Well, that really was special. I think that was my favourite out of all of them, Kenneth. Yes. <coughs> I don't think I heard any duff notes. 
And does your mother always sit next to you at the organ and turn the pages? Oh, yeah. Now, while you appear to be in a romantic mood, I'm going to ask you a series of quick-fire questions. No, I no, think... No, I know. Everybody tries to resist, but it's pointless. And I'm going to begin asking you those questions now. Have you ever watched a hanging? Yes. Would you spend over £500 on a new pair of shoes? Yes. Who is your favourite Doctor Who? Roger Quilter. Have you ever taken LSD? Oh, yeah. Have you ever stolen money from another actor? Yes. Do you own a sword? I know. Have you ever seen or been made love to by a ghost? Oh, yeah. In a restaurant, would you make out that it was your birthday in order to receive free drinks? Yes. What is your favourite movie of all time? A Hangover 2. Have you ever touched a snake? Oh, well. Do nuns use crayons? Yes. How many fingers am I holding up? Well, it's interesting, you see, I did mention... Do I... you sleep in the nude? Yes. Well, that's it. That's great, Kenneth. Thank you very much. There's just, just one more thing. Your father died recently, did he not? Yes. I'm sorry to hear that. Did he have any last words? Oh, yes. What were they? I'd like to get my hands round Judith Chalmers and I... I, I did he say that? Yes. What did your mother say? Surely she found that offensive. It was in some ways, but in others it wasn't. It was almost salutary. OK. Well, now, Kenneth Williams, if you would like to take your place at Winchester Cathedral Organ yes. for the last time this evening, and what will you be playing us out with? Well, now, this is a favourite. I did mention my love of Brahms earlier. It's the melancholy in me, the Norse melancholy. Right. When I first heard it, I couldn't believe it, because it's a wonderful melody, and there's this, mm. this particular second movement, which I love. You'd almost think, you know, you were in that scene in the Cadena Cafe in Brief Encounter. And what's it called, Kenneth? Is there anybody there, said the traveller, knocking on the moonlit door? Very good. So, Kenneth Williams gets up for the last time this evening and approaches Winchester Cathedral Organ, where he will play Tchaikovsky's Is There Anybody There? said the stranger knocking on the moonlit door. Breathtaking, Kenneth. Absolutely breathtaking. Well, I just want to finish up yes. by saying thank you very much, and it was an honour oh, yeah. for you to talk to me and an absolute treat, I imagine, for everyone else to hear your organ. Thank you, Michael. Matt. Matt Berry Interviews was written, performed and edited by Matt Berry. The producer was Matt Strong, and it was a BBC Studios production.